What's up, Faith fam? It's Brother Mario. I pray you're having a great day. I wanted to go ahead and create this video. I'm at my new place here in uh, the Ottawa area in Canada. Really love it. I'm on the patio just taking a little mini break and I wanted to take the opportunity here to record a video for you, uh, specifically about something that God has been taking me through. And it has to do with the spiritual maturity that I've talked about in recent videos on this YouTube channel. The Lord really has been growing my desire to seek Him and to set my mind on the things above. So I pray that this has been an encouragement to you as well, to have that same desire. We have only a short time here in this world. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16, Pay careful attention, then, how you walk, not as unwise, but wise, making the most of the day because the days are evil. So because the days are evil, we are to make most of our time here. Another factor is you never know when you're going to be gone. You could be here today and gone tomorrow. The Bible says we are like a vapor. We're like grass. We're sprung up and then we're gone. And so it is very important for us to be um, disciplined in our time and effort. So what is the most important thing that we can do? Well, I'm going to share that with you in this video here today. That is, be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Now, the word disciple might bring to your mind 12 specific individuals. And of course, those are Jesus' disciples. But did you know that we are all disciples of Jesus? And what I'm going to share with you is part of this spiritual maturity that the Lord is working through me is to have me, first of all, retire from being a truther. Does it mean that I don't believe in those things? No. It just means that I'm not focused on them anymore. The days are evil, and my number one priority has shifted to discipling myself after the Lord Jesus Christ. And we'll talk about what that is in a moment. Now, the title of this video is Retiring as a Truther and Becoming 100% a Disciple. And so what this means is, for those of you who don't know, a truther is someone who doubts and generally accept uh, the accepted account of an event, believing that the official story is concealed and that they don't provide the true explanation. It's kind of like a conspiracy theorist. And so I started making YouTube videos in 2012 on my channel, and uh, predominantly this was the type of content that I was creating. I didn't expect to have a channel grow to that level, but it did. And I'm very fortunate for that. I'm never going to take it uh, for granted. I mean, the channel ended up helping millions and millions of people. And I never would have assumed that God would have done that in my life. And I even, uh, back in, I think it was 2013, started a group called the uh, Truther Network, the Christ uh, CTN, the Christian Truther Network. And so me, Round Saturn's Eye, Jared, and a bunch of us got together because we had noticed that within the truth community, the truth community, uh, there were a bunch of new agers and people who were misinterpreting the things that were happening. And so we wanted to give a biblical uh, explanation to these agendas that we were talking about. So a Christian truther is someone, a person who exposes the NWO and is a Christian, the New World Order agenda, the systems of the world. So unfortunately, I know that making this shift, I'm going to be losing a large part of my audience. And that's okay. I mean, we all have to grow. And unfortunately, I just know that all of you won't be even interested in coming along with me for this journey. Um, it's going to take people who really want to seek after spiritual maturity for, for you to come and uh, enjoy this content that I'm creating. This new biblical content for spiritually mature Christians so that we can be edified and built up in the body of Christ. So if that's you, I'm sorry to say I'm not going to continue making those videos. Many people are suggesting to me to take my time and energy to post my previous videos on another platform and I don't have the time. I, that's not my focus at all. I have no interest in doing that. And I'm sorry, it's just not going to be what I, I'm going to do. The Bible says, make the most of the day. And that's not making the most of it. What is making the most of it is fully, wholeheartedly putting my mind and my attention on the things of God and the discipleship that the Lord is taking me under, as I am a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, if that is you, thank you so much. 
and uh, I'm sad to see you go, but I'm not gonna be making that type of content, and I've been saying this over and over. But for those of you who are following me in this path of spiritual maturity and desire to be disciples, check this out. What does it even mean to be a disciple? Well, a disciple of Jesus, this is from an article I got from desiringgod.com. A disciple is a worshiper, a servant, and a witness for Jesus. The standard definition of disciple is someone who adheres to the teachings of another. It is a follower or someone who learns after a particular way. It refers to someone who takes up the ways of someone else. Applied to Jesus, a disciple is someone who learns from him to live like him. He becomes our model and we disciple ourselves through discipline, spiritual disciplines to become like the Messiah. It's someone who, because of God's awakening grace, conforms his or her words and life to the ways of the, of the words and the ways of Jesus Christ. And so that is where my new focus is, guys. I want to wholeheartedly focus on being a disciple. I'm retiring from the truth content because, hey, I only have so much time in a day. And I want to be so absorbed in the things of God because these are truly important. And I'm just going to give a warning to anyone out there. When I was producing this content, this truther content, um, I ended up being very angry, frustrated. I didn't produce the fruits of the Spirit. And in my own personal life, I wasn't really overcoming sin and living an empowered fullness in Jesus Christ. The enemy had a victory over me because my mind was constantly dwelling on the things that are evil in the world. Instead of waking up and focusing on Bible studies, prayer, worshiping, and serving others in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I would get up and just look at the evil in the world. And this consumed me. And so I have no desire to look at that content anymore. I am fully aware. Now, I've said this before. I'm not saying that that stuff is bad. It's not like knowing about the satanic entertainment industry, the antichrist kingdom, the, these agendas is a bad thing in of itself. But there is a higher purpose to life, and that is the Messiah. Could you imagine how amazing it would have been to be one of those disciples who Jesus came up to one day? You're just out there, you're a fisherman, and he comes to you and he says, be my disciple and follow me, right? What an amazing honor that is. There is no greater honor. And do you know that right now, again, probably to you who's listening, the Lord Jesus is coming and saying, follow me follow in my way. I am the master. I am the Lord. I will show you the way. And he's just like he was to Peter, John, and the first disciples. He's calling us, brothers and sisters, to follow after him, to become a disciple, a disciplined individual who seeks after the molding of ourselves towards him. We need to behold him if we want to become like him. We can't constantly be thinking about the world systems and what's going on in the evil, never focusing on Jesus. How are we gonna ever grow to be like him if we never give him the time of day? Because our mind is so absorbed on other things that are going on, which may be true. Another element that I just wanna point out here is, um, it's kind of funny. Uh, the movement is called the truth movement. And not everyone in the movement's a Christian, by the way. Many people will use that label to define themselves. But ladies and gentlemen, if you do not know, accept the Lord Jesus Christ and you don't believe, you don't have the truth, okay? There's a lot of new age truthers and atheist truthers and a whole bunch of people from every camp and, and worldview believe themselves to have some level of truth, but that's not the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one makes it to the Father but by me. Jesus said that he himself is the truth. So let me tell you something. I'm going to, with this mission, I'm going to be starting the real truth movement, because without Jesus Christ and him and his teachings, and beholding him, worshiping him, serving him, loving him, studying him and his ways and molding ourselves to it, we can't honestly say that we're even in the truth. It's a lie. It's a hypocrisy. It's fake. So if you're part of the real truth movement, which is a movement of spiritual mature Christians who know the real truth, 
who know that Jesus Christ did not tell us to go and tell people about all these satanic systems of the world, although there's a benefit to it. He told us the Great Commission to go out and to preach the gospel to every creature and to disciple them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, baptizing them. This is the Great Commission. This is the Great Call. So what I'm calling you here today is to a higher purpose. Become a true, devoted disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. He told us a long time ago, follow me. So who's coming along? I sure am. I'm following after Jesus. I'm not going to miss out. So do the right thing. Don't miss out. Go after him. He's worth it. He'll heal. He'll restore. He'll transform. He'll empower you. In your moments of weakness and trials and difficulties and persecution in this world, he will give you an unshakable faith. He will make you stand in the storms of life, a victorious overcomer. Thanks for taking the time with me as I share this with you. Have yourself a blessed evening.